Hello and congratulations on receiving your new Freightliner Cascadia tractor. Please allow us to help familiarize you with the features and operations. Your new Cascadia comes equipped with a Detroit Diesel DD15 engine paired up with a DT12 12-speed automated transmission. Everyone knows we must complete a proper pre-trip before hitting the road. Follow me as we highlight the key points and important differences from your previous equipment. Here's where you would check the oil and make sure you are in between the min and max. Here is where you verify the power steering fluid levels. Make sure they're between the min and max limits. Here is the coolant reservoir. Freightliner recommended coolants are listed on it. Here is the fuel filters and water drain is located here. Then on the passenger side of your engine bay, you will find the washer fluid reservoir. Always remember to close and latch the hood before moving on. And your forward facing radar is located in the center of the bumper. The radar is part of your adaptive cruise, active brake assist, when operating in freezing weather, an alert may pop up on your dash, letting you know that ice is developing on your radar that you may need to manage. The location of our side radar, our passenger fuel fill cap, driver side fill point, which is silver, is located here. Your def fill, as you can see it is blue. This is a visual clue to remind you not to mix def and fuel, as this will create serious damage. We recommend fueling any tractor with the engine off to prevent any other damage to your fuel system. And your batteries, located under the cab. Moving on to the light test switch, located on your right, allowing the driver to verify the operations of all lights prior to departing on their first trip of the day. The system remains active with the truck on or off until the light test switch has been pressed a second time. It's important to allow your gauges to fully cycle prior to starting your engine to avoid any check engine lights. Your instrument cluster contains a tachometer, oil pressure gauge, fuel and depth level gauge, combination air pressure gauge, water temperature gauge, speedometer, and your digital information center. The digital information center has various pages, selected gear, driving mode, miles per hour, and current time, displayed across all pages, including seatbelt and all other warnings. The Digital Information Center is controlled via buttons on the left side of the steering wheel. With the Direction Pad, Return, OK, Increase, Decrease buttons provided. The controls on the right side of the steering wheel contain the Answers, Hang Up buttons for connected Bluetooth phones, the Cruise Set, Resume and Cancel buttons, the Marker Flash buttons, the Headlight Flash buttons, and the Quick Access button. The quick access button allows drivers to convenient access of their engine idle and PTO menus for use when in PTO modes. Let's move into the instrument cluster gauge screen. The starting screen will be whatever was displayed before the truck was shut down. The screen features a home, driving, vehicle, maintenance, media, and settings tab. Let's start with the home page. The top of the tab of the home page is where you will find the odometer, hour meter, ambient air temperature, instantaneous mile per gallon graph, and voltage readout. The middle tab will call out the trip information with trip mileage, hours, mile per gallon, and time. The bottom tab is the leg tab with the leg mileage, hours, mile per gallon, and time. Resetting any of these tabs will only reset the currently active tab. Now let's move into the driving page. The speed tab will show current speed, ambient temp, and the odometer. The driving assistance tab is where you will see a graphical column of your lane position, adaptive cruise headway, and side guard assistance warning. Side guard assist also displays a warning on the front A pillar in the form of an amber triangle that will illuminate when an object is next to the truck. Next is the vehicles page. Let's start with gauges one. Gauges 1 displays the engine oil tamp, if equipped, the engine oil pressure, and suspension pressure gauges, also if equipped. The diesel particulate filter tab will display the current DPF soot loading level and allow the driver to manually execute a regen procedure by pressing and holding the OK button on the steering wheel controls. Remember that to perform a park regen, the truck must be in neutral and the parking brake set and no throttle input. Now let's move on to some other important tabs in operation of your new Cascadia. The locks tab show you all of the current selected differential locks, 
While the vehicle setting tab allows access to the engine, PTO, and idle control menus, the maintenance tab is where you will find all the active alerts on your truck, sorted by severity, while the diagnostic tab allows access to read fault codes in one of the several controllers found within the tractor. Use of this screen should be limited only to gathering fault information to report maintenance needs or by maintenance personnel. Finally, we have the engine maintenance tab, which displays the current engine on hours. That's it for the vehicle page. Let's move into the media page. The audio tab displays the current audio information from the radio, such as song, artist, station data. The telephone tab will be allowed to access the currently paired phone and phone book for the hands-free operation. Moving to the last page, which is a settings page. You can tailor your instrument cluster to your specific needs with controls such as brightness, unit of measurements, time adjustment, language, custom gauges, and safety systems. This page also features the alarm clock tab, which you can set a repeatable alarm in case check-ins or reports must be completed on a normal schedule. Let's check out some other features in the cab with the headlights and the wipers. Your Cascadia tractor is equipped with a rotary headlight switch. You can select the function by rotating the selector knob to desired position. The wipers are just as easy to use. They can be set to the various modes based on the desired wiper speed by simply rotating the knob on the wiper stock. Your new Cascadia is equipped with the latest offerings from Detroit Assurance 5.0 with Linux Drive camera, including active brake assist, side guard assist, and lane departure warning. Active Brake Assist works to identify possible threats and begin braking in the event a driver fails to recognize them and can bring you to a full stop. Side Guard Assist comes with a side mounted radar unit that detects objects in the truck's blind spots along the tractor and trailer. Side Guard Assist benefits the driver when attempting lane changes onto an already occupied lane. Also with right turns in city traffic. The system alerts the driver of objects or people present as the objects appear in the truck's passenger side blind spots. Detroit Lane Departure will make an audible sound when you veer out of your lane without a turn signal. If you are driving in a construction zone, you can turn this off if needed. The Jake Brake or Engine Brake is on your right side with the settings high, medium, low, and off. High being all the way down, Manual and automatic modes can be selected by pressing inward on the selector button and pulling forward or pressing away from the steering wheel. Manual gears are limited to the first three forward gears. So equipped with a five minute idle timer. The override of this timer is authorized through the pressing of a shutdown override button. In the event of an APU failure, your Cascadia will allow operation in cold weather when the ambient temperature is below 10 degrees. Your passenger sidekick panel will give you access to the e-vault. This is where you'll find your circuits and fuses. Use of the climate controls in your new Cascadia are like many other auto manufacturers. However, there's one key difference. To operate the truck's HVAC controls from the sleeper, you will need to press the sleeper control button, which transfers climate control to the bunk mounted control panel. Next, we are going to talk about the Optimize Idle and Park Smart features. But first, I want to let you know these features also provide better fuel economy with less wear and tear on your after treatment system by not having to continuously run your engine, which also adds to your bottom line. Your tractor is equipped with the Park Smart battery powered APU, designed to help keep the driver comfortable without using additional fuel. To achieve best results, it is recommended to precondition the bunk for approximately 15 to 30 minutes prior to transferring from the engine HVAC to the parts mark HVAC control. Part of the preconditioning is ensuring that your curtains are closed and the HVAC controls are in the preset at the 11 o'clock position. Best practices is to park in the shade during the summer months and out of the wind during the winter months. Let's look at some optimal settings for Park Smart system. Starting with the fan, it needs to be in at least the first setting to activate. Now for the temp setting. It's not recommended to set the system on max temp setting. It may not give you the experience you expect. So start with 11 o'clock for cooling and 3 o'clock for heat. 
Remember, this control is acting as a thermometer. Once the system has reached these temperatures, you can adjust as needed. These few tips can provide you with the optimal ParkSmart experience. The ParkSmart system is designed for driver comfort for the off-duty cycle. SDD Optimize Idle. To turn on Optimize Idle, which is recommended for the use with and without ParkSmart system. You're going to hit this button on the steering wheel twice. This brings you to the Optimize Idle screen. And then hit OK on the steering wheel one time. Opt idle best practices for home time. Shut down the truck and remove the key. Turn the battery disconnect to the off position. When this is not applicable, initiate the opt idle to on position. The system now is designed to keep your electrical system charged for off duty and home time applications when needed. Your Freightliner tractor includes a stowable upper bunk that can be kept in either stowed or stored positions. Adjusting the position is accomplished easily with a simple rotation of the locking mechanism and either lowering or raising the bunk. Your truck comes equipped with an 1800 watt factory installed inverter, which includes shore power capabilities and is mounted under the bunk on the driver's side. The inverter is active when the engine is operating and the provided outlets will then be available when the truck is shut down while the batteries are over 12.3 volts. Specific information about your assigned truck can be found online via Freightliner Smart Source app, which is available in both Google Play and Apple App Stores for download. It is tailored to your assigned tractor by inputting your VIN, which will provide you with the reference materials for all factory installed systems. Thank you for your time and hard work here at Truck Country. We're committed to your success. Enjoy the ride.